Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be showing you how to use the Kurt fish wire bolt leader. So you want to make sure that you get the correct fish wire depending on what size bolt you have and thankfully Kurt makes these in a few different sizes. For starters, you're going to have a 3 8 inch, a 7 16 inch, a half inch, and a 5 8 inch. So the first thing we need to do is we need to determine what size fish wire we need because there's several different ones. Now when I talk about size, I'm not talking about the length of it. I'm talking about the size of this coiled portion here. So there's going to be all different kinds of sizes that are going to match up with the common sizes used for hitch bolts. So this one here is a carriage bolt with a 7 16 inch diameter. So we're going to be using the corresponding fish wire here, which is going to be the 7 16 inch fish wire. So once we've determined that we have the correct size fish wire, what I like to do is I like to bend the end here, the pointy end. That way when we stick our hitch up into position and you stick this through the hole in your hitch, it doesn't slide back out. This is going to serve as a little stopper. Now I think it's another good point to make is that while we're using fish wire, I always like to make sure I have safety glasses on because these things are very sharp and they're springy so they could potentially put out your eye. So we've got our safety glasses here. I'm going to go make sure I put these on. Now the coiled end is going to go through the hole that we want our bolt to go through and then we're going to be fishing it out our access hole. So a lot of this is going to vary depending on your particular vehicle or what you're installing it on. But for our Subaru Outback here, the hole that we're going to be using is in the bottom of the frame. So we'll jump under there in a second and show you that. But we're going to be placing our coiled end through that hole that we want the bolt to come out of and then we're going to be fishing it out our access hole. So now I'm going to take the coiled end of our fish wire and I'm going to be placing it through the hole that we want our bolt to come through. And now here's our access hole. So I'm going to take the fish wire here, the coiled end, and I'm going to pull it out through the access hole. Now you want to make sure you don't pull it too far because we obviously don't want to pull through our other side of our fish wire. And then I'm going to hold on to the fish wire and I'm going to carefully thread on our carriage bolt. So we're going to thread that all the way on. Now, if your particular one uses a spacer block, you want to go ahead and place that over the cold end before you, threw, before you put on the carriage bolt. A lot of times when you're fish wiring into the frame, there's both a spacer block and a carriage bolt, but this particular one here has the bosses already drilled into the hitch there, so you don't need a spacer block. But now we're just going to grab the other side of our fish wire there, feed our hardware through the access hole, and now we'll just pull the other side of our fish wire down through the hole there, bringing our bolt along with it. Now, if you're, you have more than one hole that you need to do this to, chances are you are, and you only have one fish wire, you want to make sure that you unthread it as opposed to just pulling it straight off. So once we have our fish wire off, we'll take our flange nut here, and we'll go ahead and thread it onto the carriage bolt. Now, you want to be careful when you're threading this on because you don't want to push the bolt back up into the frame. So, a lot of the times I like to take a finger or if you have a conical tooth washer you're installing along with the nut, you'll use that to put pressure on the side of the bolt so you're not pushing it back up into the frame. So, another common fish wire technique that's used a lot it's sort of similar to the one we just showed you, but it's called reverse fish wire. So with reverse fish wire, there's only one hole, and that's your attachment hole. What you're going to do is, you're going to first take your fish wire here, the coiled end, and you're going to place your spacer block over the fish wire like so, and then you're actually going to thread on your carriage bolt. So you're actually going to be doing all this outside of the hole. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to take the head of the carriage bolt, you're going to stick that up through your attachment hole, shove that into the frame, follow that up with your carriage bolt, and then you're just going to pull both of them down through the hole like so, and this is how it should sit inside the frame of the vehicle, and you'll just simply unscrew your fish wire. And that's going to do it for our look at the Kurt fish wire bolt leader.